Hello YouTube friends, this is Recovering Yankee. Today is the fourth day of the fifth month, and also known as the seventh day Sabbath. So, I'm getting ready to do the juice cleanse, the three day juice cleanse, as invented by Dr. John Christopher. Now, in case you don't know who Dr. John Christopher is, Dr. John Christopher is the father of modern herbalism in America, maybe the world. And one thing that you may or may not have known about Dr. Christopher is that during World War II, he was a doctor in the Army, and he's the only doctor in Army history that was allowed to perform his medical functions with herbs, not medicines. And he, is, he was very successful with his treatments, and you can read a lot about him on the internet. Anyway, he invented the um, three-day juice cleanse that I'm about to start. Now, why do I have to go on a juice cleanse? Well, uh, in a nutshell, your body develops mucus, which we call inflammation, as a result of the bad choices that you and I make when we eat. Whatever your body considers to be a bad choice leads to you to mucus and inflammation. Now, normally your body has the ability to handle a certain amount of mucus, a small amount, or inflammation. But when you're when the mucus starts overrunning and, and proliferating in your body and turning into a, a big pile of mucus, and it starts turning into pounds of mucus, well, then what ends up happening is uh, your body has to get rid of that mucus because according to Dr. John Christopher the mucus is the cause of all known diseases could anything could cause mucus it could be working around metals and having spraying metals in your body or you know working in uh, maybe you're a diesel mechanic and you're breathing in all the diesel fumes who knows it could also be the food you're eating and the choices you make as far as exercise are concerned and the choices you make uh, for drinking or smoking cigarettes or whatever. Drinking coffee could cause mucus, okay? Bad choices cause music, mucus. So, now, what your body normally does when you have too much mucus, too much inflammation, is it causes you to get sick. That's his philosophy. That's his teachings. So, sickness is the body's natural way to get rid of excess mucus. For instance, a fever is so hot inside your body that it causes the mucus to melt. A cough is the body's way of expelling mucus from the lungs, breaking it up and expelling it. Uh, the flu with the runny nose is a way for your body to get rid of the mucus. Sneezing is a way for your body to get rid of the mucus. And diarrhea is a way for your body to get rid of the mucus. So when you start having these sickness symptoms, which we typically call a cold or a flu, it's because your body's trying to get rid of the mucus. So the three-day juice cleanse was created by Dr. Christopher to help us help our body to get rid of the mucus. So... Um, when you get too much mucus, you could actually gain pounds of mucus. Pounds. Okay? Just to let you know, one gallon of water weighs eight pounds. How much does one gallon of mucus weigh? I couldn't even tell you, but it's more than water. It's heavier than water. So, uh, I weighed myself this morning, and I'm 250.0, which means... I've gained at least a gallon of mucus because, or more, because I was 243 just the other day. Uh, so, I'm going to go weigh myself to prove and verify what I just said. Hold on. Watch this. Come on, 250.0. 250.0. So that means I've gained 7 pounds of mucus and inflammation. So, where did I 
what did I do to gain the seven pounds of mucus? Some of it is allergies. Right now we have heavy pollen here in the low country. Others would be um, two days ago we had our luncheon for the American Legion and we uh, there were a lot of foods there and I had a piece of cake, small piece. I also ate deviled eggs and chicken. I didn't eat anything else but the piece of cake was enough probably to give me some mucus and the, I would so I would I would say that the allergens in the piece of cake uh, were enough to give me some mucus but there might be other causes too that I'm unaware of so uh, obviously I'm not eating a cake on a regular basis but I did eat a piece of cake and that was enough to cause some some mucus and the allergens are others who knows what the other app causes could be I'm just generally I've been developing too much mucus so maybe it's because I've been eating some too much fat and too much protein who knows anyway whatever the cause is it doesn't matter I'm going to get rid of it with the with the juice cleanse so hold on this is this is dr. Christopher's book for the three-day juice cleanse and here's what's involved a gallon of water distilled water 96 ounces of a fruit juice that's pure fruit and that is unfiltered whole apples in this case and olive oil okay so hang on a second and prune juice okay so here's how you start first thing when you wake up which is now as you can see it's cloudy today but it's morning first thing you drink eight ounces I'm sorry 16 ounces 16 ounces of prune juice okay a half an hour later I will drink eight ounces of apple juice a half an hour after that I will drink eight ounces of distilled water then a half an hour later I will drink eight ounces of apple juice and a half an hour later I will drink eight ounces of water and a half an hour later I will drink eight ounces of apple juice and a half an hour later I will drink eight ounces of water and that will continue throughout the day that's all I'll drink prune juice when I first start apple juice a half an hour later water a half an hour later after that so it's 16 ounces of prune juice first thing eight ounces of apple juice a half an hour later eight ounces of water a half an hour later and here's my measuring cup okay okay so some of the rules or things to remember during a three-day juice cleanse is you drink one juice for three days you can select any of the following juices apple juice carrot juice citrus juice tomato juice etc but use it only the entire three days so I choose apple juice okay this is by Knudsen's apple it's natural it's organic you want to try to find organic juice if you can you want to try to find organic prune juice and obviously distilled water is the best you can get so uh, that's natural H2O so this is whole unfiltered apples apple juice you can see the apple how dark it is okay it's not the cheap junk apple juice you buy at the supermarket this is expensive stuff and it's whole apples you can also juice your own apples if you want or juice your own carrots etc but that's it that's important is that it's whole apple the whole thing no filtering out the just for clarity purposes uh, etc pure unfiltered unprocessed apple juice just look at how dark that apple juice is it's because it's real apple juice hold on second rule is it's juice only you don't eat anything solid do not eat anything during the three-day cleanse except matching fruit or vegetable 
with cleanse, cleansing juice, apples with apple juice, etc. So if I'm hungry during this cleanse, I can eat an apple because I'm using apple juice. If I'm using carrot juice, then if I'm hungry, I can eat a carrot. If I'm using grape juice, then if I'm hungry, I can eat a grapes. Okay. If I'm if I'm using tomato juice, then if I'm hungry, I can eat a tomato. That's all you can eat. Now, the other thing you're supposed to chew your juice. Chewing means moving it around your mouth so your saliva gets activated, and that starts pre-digestion. If you're if you're constipated, again, another cause of constipation is inflammation. Use more prune juice or take the lower bowel formula. Okay. And you do the you do the juice cleanse for three days straight. After the fourth day, that's when you start your, your, you're supposed to start a fruit diet at the end of the fourth day. Do fruit for several days. What I'm gonna do on the fourth day is I'm gonna do the, the bone broth diet for three days, okay? Uh, then it talks about things like if you continue to fast, cleansing symptoms. Cleansing symptoms, you will probably experience periodic aches and pains as your body cleans out its toxins and poisons, but this results in faster cleansing and quicker healing. Okay, so, toxins cause mucus. You breathe in toxins throughout the day. You also, if you smoke or drink, you are, I'm talking coffee, liquor, cigarettes, pot, whatever you smoke, you're gonna have toxins in your body. I don't smoke and I don't drink liquor at all. And, but there is toxins in the air when you travel around, when you're, when you're working. If you drive on the highway, you're breathing in diesel fumes. Those are toxins. And who knows what they're spraying on us. But there's toxins in that. And it causes your body to, to develop mucus. Now, uh, one thing that Dr. Christopher said was that uh, during um, your normal life, you should do at least one cleanse a year probably two or three or four, once every quarter maybe. You should be doing that because of all the toxins you breathe in all the, on a regular basis. And um, again, so the other day when I ate the cake, what happened? I got toxins from it. Uh, someone made the deviled eggs for the group. Who knows what they put in it? I think that was just eggs, but maybe they put mayonnaise and that has toxins in it. So. Anyway, don't blame yourself and don't cut yourself down because you have toxins. You can't avoid it, especially in our society we live in now. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start the cleanse right now, and I'm going to drink. I'm going to power down some prune juice, 16 ounces of it, and um, three times today I will drink a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil that I showed you earlier, and I'm going to give you the reason for that right now. Hold on. Okay, during the, it says here, during the three-day cleanse, take one or two tablespoons of olive oil three times a day to aid in lubricating bile and liver ducts, etc. So that's where I got the oil from. Hold on. That, my friends, is 16 ounces of organic prune juice. As Mr. Worf says from Star Trek Next Generation, a warrior's drink. A warrior's drink, according to Mr. Worf. Pushing it around your mouth causes your uh, saliva to start activating and doing its, its function, both digesting the food. So I'm swishing it. <clears throat> Prune juice is not my favorite drink. And uh, you have to actually, it's kind of like eating liver. You have to get to like it. You have to make yourself like it.
Okay. I'll put it on pause. Now, here's the part where it becomes tricky. Um, obviously, Dr. Christopher was promoting vegetarianism. Natural foods in their whole st in their raw state, or veganism, whatever you want to call it. And so he says his don'ts don't eat salt after the after the mucus diet, after the juice cleanse is over with the three days, and you've eaten fruit for a couple days after that to get your body back to eating used to back to eating meat regular foods. He says you should go on the, what's called a mucusless diet. And you're not supposed to eat salt or eggs, which is carnivore, and salt's carnivore. Obviously sugar, meat, which is carnivore, milk or dairy, which is carnivore, for some people anyway, flour and flour products. <laughs> so, according to Dr. Christopher, I'm not supposed to do the carnivore diet. However, I'm going to use this cleanse to get rid of the mucus in my body because as we've learned from some of the carnivore gurus meat in their opinion does not cause mucus and inflammation and dairy does not cause it except for in some people it does like me and eggs do not cause mucus or inflammation but so there's obviously a difference of opinion between Dr. Christopher's view and uh, the carnivore gar guru's view. Now, since I'm going to be doing the carnivore diet, I am going to disregard some of the items on this don't list. The, obviously, the meat and the eggs and the salt. I'm going to disregard that. And I'm going to continue. So, we'll see how it works. Obviously, I'm disobeying the rules. <laughs> I'm not above the rules. Um, so... The do's on the list are do eat cayenne, one tablespoon of cayenne three times a day, okay, obviously in warm water, honey and apple cider vinegar every single day, kelp from the ocean every single day, and molasses, take one tablespoon of molasses three times a day, or blackstrap molasses, and then it says wheat germ oil, take one tablespoon of good fresh wheat germ oil three times a day. Now, if I was going to do the regenerative diet that Dr. Christopher explains, I would start becoming a vegetarian after this. A strong vegetarian, a vegan vegetarian. But I've seen what happens to vegans. People that become vegans, they lose all their muscle mass, they lose, you know, they look like they're sick. So I'm not going to become a vegan. I'm going to use the juice cleanse to flush out the inflammation and the mucus that have been caused in my body as a result of everything I mentioned plus the hundred other things that I didn't mention. Then I'm going to start the absolute purest form of the carnivore diet with the Dr. Naaman twist for the rest of this month, just like I said. And I'm going to... St uh... So... Hold on. Dr. Naaman's version of the carnivore diet is 50% um, protein and the other 50% is fat and carbohydrates. Very low on the carbohydrates, very high on the fat, but a total of 155 grams of the two of them. So I'm trying to also modify the rules of the carnivore diet, just like I'm modifying the rules for the three-day juice cleanse, because I want to make, I want to make the three-day juice cleanse work for me, and I want to make Dr. Naaman's version of carnivore work for me. Because I, I don't know that the full-on carnivore diet is working for me. It's giving me stalls. So, my ideal body weight is 105 pounds. Obviously, that means I need 155 grams of protein a day. And 155 grams combined of carbohydrates and fat. More fat than carbohydrates, of course. So, um... The last week or so, I was eating 155, 173 grams of protein and 173 grams of fat every single day, which is not really the way Dr. Naaman said to do it. So again, I'm breaking the rules. 
So, for the next, after I do this cleanse, for the 30 days after that, I'm going to do what I initially stated I was going to do for the first 30 days, which is 155 grams of protein a day and 155 grams of fat every day for 30 days. I'm going to see if that works for the weight loss stalls. If it does not work, I will do 155 grams of protein each day and say 165 grams of fat every day for 30 days. See if that works. Then, if that doesn't work, then I'm going to go 155 grams of protein a day for 30 days with Dr. Naiman's twist, where I have 155 grams total of fat and carbs. Eventually, I think I'm going to get to the Spice Girl diet. That's what I'm being honest about right now. I believe I'm going to, I believe my carnivore, my ketovore, my Dr. Namenor, <laughs> uh, I believe it's going to eventually lead to me being on the Spice Girl diet. And what is the Spice Girl diet? I'll tell you. I'm inventing this. None of you can steal it. It's, it's going to be in the record right now. The Spice Girl diet is protein along with sweet potatoes and carrots. That's the diet. And I'm going to somehow work in there some butter fat. So I'm going to have eggs and steak and sweet potato and carrots and liver for the vitamins. That's what I believe is going to become the future diet of all the world is the Spice Girl diet. None of you can steal it. It's my idea. On the, I started thinking about this and discussing it a couple weeks ago. I showed you what her diet is. And I believe that is going to be the diet for all fat people in the world in the future. But I have to prove it. I have to get to that point. So stick with me as I begin to prove that the Spice Girl diet is the diet of mankind. Okay? Thank you very much. Hit like and subscribe. Peace.